Welcome to the Step 1 of Your Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about cilia and the sodium potassium pump. Cilia uses microtubules to move. A cross section shows that there are nine doublets on the perimeter and two singlets in the center. The region below the cilia, called the basal body, contains nine microtubule triplets. Let's check out the inner workings of the cilia microtubules. Axonemal dynein is an ATPase that utilizes ATP to slide the doublets past each other that causes the cilia to bend. Gap junctions allow cilia coordinated movement. Cartogener syndrome, primary ciliary dyskinesia, is caused by immotile cilia due to a defect in the dynein arm. At Cartagener's restaurant, it's takeout only. There's no dining. It is an autosmal recessive disorder. Since the motility of sperm relies on properly working dining arms in the flagellum, this can cause immotile sperm. The fallopian tubes contain thousands of cilia to transport the eggs to the uterus. With the motile cilia, individuals with Cartagener syndrome are at higher risk of ectopic pregnancies. Defected cilia in the lungs can cause bronchiectasis in the nose, recurrent sinusitis in the ears, chronic ear infections and conductive hearing loss, and even citrus inversus, in which organs have been inverted from their normal position. Low levels of nasal nitric oxide can be measured in patients with Cartagener syndrome. The sodium-potassium pump is an ATPase that is located on the plasma membrane. One ATP on the cytosolic side phosphorylates the pump, which then pumps three sodium ions out of the cell. The phosphate is released, and two potassium ions are pumped into the cell. Albane is a cardiac glycoside that inhibits the pump by binding to the potassium ion site. Other cardiac glycosides, digoxin and digitoxin, can be used to increase cardiac contractility making your heart beat stronger. The way it works is by directly inhibiting the sodium-potassium pump. A different pump, the sodium-calcium pump, works in an antiport mechanism, pumping calcium out of the cell by allowing sodium to flow into the cell. But since the sodium-potassium ATPase is inhibited, digoxin and digitoxin indirectly inhibit the sodium-calcium pump thereby increasing calcium concentrations inside the cell, which causes the heart to contract stronger. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.